In this video, we're going to go over skin conductivity and antisocial personality disorder, which is also called psychopathy. To begin, skin conductivity can be defined as the ability of skin to conduct electricity. This is typically measured by placing electrodes on a person's fingers or palm. The reason why psychologists are interested in skin conductivity is because it's been shown that when you present a human with emotional or painful stimuli, their skin conductivity will increase. So an example of an emotional stimulus are faces expressing anger or fear. So the idea is if you present a person with an angry face or a fearful face, that person's skin conductivity will increase. An example of a painful stimulus is a pinprick. So if you poke someone with a pin, that will produce pain and that person's skin conductivity will also increase. Now, this increase in skin conductivity is believed to be due to the activation of the sympathetic nervous system. This will increase the activity of sweat glands, which secrete sweat, and that is going to consequently increase skin moisture. This is important for a couple of reasons. Number one, activation of the sympathetic nervous system is not under conscious control. It's not voluntary, so you can't just will it to happen. That's why polygraphs or lie detector tests will often measure skin conductivity. However, this is a bit problematic because skin conductivity is not a measure of specific emotions. It won't tell you if a person is happy, angry, or fearful. Instead, it's just a measure of arousal. This means that if you see a person's skin conductivity increase, this just means that they are more aroused. It doesn't tell you anything about the emotion that they're currently feeling. Okay. So this is skin conductivity. Let's now shift over to discussing antisocial personality disorder, also called psychopathy. At first, these two topics seem completely unrelated, but as we're gonna see, the two are connected. So antisocial personality disorder is a type of personality disorder characterized by individuals that disregard the right of others and repeatedly exhibit impulsive, aggressive, manipulative, irresponsible, and cruel behaviors. These are individuals that are going to constantly lie and commit crimes such as theft, murder, and rape. And afterward, these individuals are not going to have any feelings of remorse or guilt. So that means they do these horrible things and they don't feel bad about doing them afterward. What's interesting is that Individuals with antisocial personality disorder have been shown to not exhibit a skin conductivity increase when presented with emotional or painful stimuli. So some psychologists have tried to compare regular individuals with individuals with antisocial personality disorders. And regular individuals will show an increase in skin conductivity when presented with emotional or painful stimuli. When they did these same tests on individuals with antisocial personality disorder, they either observed no response at all in skin conductivity or a decreased response. So that's why antisocial personality disorder is related to skin conductivity. 